When it comes to sewing, pressing is essential for getting your projects to look professional. We'll go over proper pressing techniques and tips. What are the essential pressing tools for a sewer? You should have a good quality iron, ironing board, press cloth, spray bottle with water. Some bonus items that come in handy are tailor's ham, sleeve board, seam roll. You want a good quality iron that has the ability to do a variety of different heat settings because different types of fabric have varying degrees of heat tolerances. When you purchase your fabric, check the care instructions on the tag. Usually fabric with synthetic fibers can tolerate low heat, while fabric with all natural fibers can tolerate a high heat, but always refer to the care instructions to be sure. There will be some fabrics that won't be able to tolerate any heat. Even if your fabric can be ironed, test it with a scrap of the fabric first to know it won't be damaged by pressing. Why are there so many different types of ironing boards? For most seams and pressing, you can probably get away using a standard ironing board. But for curved seams, small areas, or hard to press items like sleeves, you can use a tailor's ham, sleeve board, or seam roll. Check our description for a link to our ham tutorial, or if you're in a bind, use a rolled up towel and place it in your sleeve. Here are some examples of when you would want to press. When your fabric is wrinkly, especially after pre-treating it, after sewing a seam, when pinning a hem, when applying fusible interfacing at the final stage of your project. What is the difference between pressing and ironing? Ironing is putting the iron on the fabric and then pushing it to new areas. Pressing is placing the iron down and when you want it in a new area, you lift it up and place it in a new spot. With pressing, there's less of a chance of warping your seams or fabric because you're not pushing or stretching the fabric fibers. So pressing is safer than just standard ironing. It's a good idea to press your fabric before pinning your patterns because wrinkles could mean that your fabric pieces come out misshapen. Choose the correct heat setting on your iron, press the wrinkle smooth. If the wrinkle is stubborn and your fabric can also get wet, use water in a spray bottle, spritz the area and apply the iron. Again, make sure your fabric can get wet. If it's a fabric that can only be dry clean like satin, you may cause water stains that will ruin your fabric. After you sew a seam, it's recommended to give the area a quick press. To press the seam open, pull the raw edges apart and press. To press the seam closed, keep the raw edges together and press to one side. It's really a personal preference on if you'd rather have open seams or closed seams. Or you might do a variety of both, like an open on a side seam and a closed for an enclosed collar seam. The important thing is to press it so the area lies flat. If your fabric cannot take any heat from the iron because it's too delicate, you can still press with a cool iron, meaning the iron is not on, or finger press by using your fingers to press the seam open and flat. There are some fabrics like velvet where it's recommended to use the iron to steam the seam and then finger press it. When pressing a napped fabric like velvet, use a needle board or a plush towel instead of just an ironing board because you don't want to crush the velvet fibers on the right side. With most pressing, you'll want to mostly press on the wrong side of the fabric. If you need to press on the right side or you're working with a delicate fabric, use a press cloth. A press cloth protects the fabric from the direct heat of the iron. You can either buy a press cloth or use some muslin or an old cotton pillowcase. Keep your iron clean. There's a link in our description for a video on cleaning your iron. You don't want to accidentally get a mark on your new fabric because of a dirty iron. This is also why it's a good idea to use a press cloth. Pressing is not a fun task when it comes to sewing, but it is a necessary one. By getting into the good habit of pressing as you sew, your projects will come out looking neater. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of our new releases. Also check out ProfessorPinkCushion.com to view our complete library with well over 450 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can join our YouTube membership and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.